Hi, my name is Lauren Sorkin, and I'm the Acting Executive Director of Global Resilient Cities Network. Um, very glad to be here talking with Omar today about the importance of building resilience in cities. Um, cities are at once our greatest challenge, they're also our greatest opportunity. We are as a species has been widely documented. More than half of us are all living in cities. Um, and Cities concentrate that risk, and as I mentioned, they concentrate opportunities, in particular as our world continues to get more interconnected. In 2013, um, Rockefeller Foundation launched a program called 100 Resilient Cities that set out to help cities as they confronted three interrelated challenges of globalization, climate change, and rapid urbanization. And those trends are just as relevant, if not even more today, than they were before. Over the course of six very successful years, that program started a movement, and more than 100 cities have taken on new ways of planning, acting, and investing due to that initial investment. Today, the Global Resilient Cities Network continues that commitment to help the cities in the network to implement projects and invest in innovative ways that deliver multiple benefits, or what we call a resilience dividend. Um, take Paris, for example. When they entered our network, they were thinking a lot about how they could deal with climate change in an urban environment that was heating up. When, in 2015, there was a terrorist attack that made the government in Paris realize that what they had was a community cohesion problem. The government wanted to create spaces that both helped to deal with increasing urban heat and created spaces for communities to get together. Since that time, the city has developed an urban oasis schoolyard program, which opens schoolyards over the weekends and also greens them in ways that help the cities deal with multiple benefits. And that is just one example of the hundreds and thousands of projects that cities in the Global Resilient Cities Network are now implementing. In the next few years, we are looking forward to helping cities concentrate their knowledge and investment in ways that deliver on urban resilience challenges and deliver multiple benefits in ways that engage communities, businesses, and academia all in solving common urban challenges together. I'll be talking about this and many other issues of urban resilience in a couple of weeks at the World Urban Forum in Abu Dhabi. I hope to meet some of you there. Thanks.